In this month's newsletter video, we're going to give you a quick overview of the Genko 6177KA, which is a basic benchtop uh, meter kit. Um, this little kit here comes supplied with your electrode stand, uh, your pH electrode, which is an epoxy body electrode with a built in ATC probe, uh, and also just has a standard BNC connection. So if you want to connect a third party electrode, you can certainly do that. And then you also get the unit itself. Um, the unit can be powered by the 6AA. Uh, six AAA batteries that go into the back of the unit or an AC DC power supply that plugs into that little port there. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just run through a quick calibration just so you can see how simple and easy the instrument is to use. Uh, so the first one you want to do it at is uh, pH 7 which is the green one that we have here. So we'll put that into the solution and what we do is we hit the, the stand button. That'll then take us into our calibration mode. As you can see 7 is flashing up there and it's got a weight symbol which is letting us know that it's currently calibrated to 7. It'll give us a lock sign when it's done that one. So now it's locked that value in. So what we'll do is we'll next do the 4 value. So we'll pull it out of the pH 7 solution and get rid of that one. And then we'll bring in some distilled water and rinse our electrode quickly. And then put it into our pH 4. What we need to do then is we need to hit our slope button, which will take it on to the 4 function. It will also come up with a weight symbol, and then once it's done, it will let us know when it's finished that. Now that it's flashing up with 10.01, we can confirm it's been done at 4.01 and 7. So what we'll do in this situation is I won't bother calibrating at 10. Uh, most of our measurements will be between 4 and 7, but if you do want to do that, you do that same exact procedure there. So to exit out of the calibration mode and just go back into measurement mode, you simply hit the mode button. As you can see, it's gone back into straight measurement mode. It'll come up with a weight up the top. Um, once that stabilizes, it'll say lock and let you know that it's held on a reading, uh, meaning that it's a stable reading. You can then record that result. So as you can see, it's a fairly basic pH meter, but will give you most of the results that you need uh, for a fairly straightforward unit. Uh, if you want to discuss this unit further, please feel free to give one of us a call on 1300 737 871 or email scientists at instrumentchoice.com.au. Thanks for watching.